71 CUDA really has me perplexed. I think we may be in for some trouble on it. If I, uh, if I don't find somebody that can dip the car that cares enough to make sure that we don't end up pulling up nothing up out of the dip tank, then I'm in trouble. I'm going to sit down and see if I can find any other alternatives to taking it over to an acid bath and dipping it. I appreciate your help. All right, bye. I have a company out here called Graveyard Cars. We restore Chrysler Muscle Cars. And I saw online that you guys do metal dipping and cleaning. Yeah, it works great. Okay, I'm just hoping to find somebody that doesn't use acid as the primary dipping tank because I just can't afford to lose a lot of metal off this car. I need to go to the doctor. My ear is killing me. It's full of thing in your ear for hours while dogs are barking. Hello, Haiti. I love you. Anyway, I'm sorry to bother you, but yeah, if it's acid, I'm going to try to avoid that. All right. Um, yeah, well, I appreciate your time. Okay, bye. I've got a 71 CUDA 446 barrel that's worth around a quarter of a million dollars when it's restored, and I guess the idea of walking up to my client and handing him a a fender tag and a title to a car that doesn't exist because it melted away in your vat wasn't exactly my primary goal. Or not. <laughs> what do you think of that person hanging up on you? <laughs> they didn't hang up on me, fool. Okay. Hey everybody, Mark here from Graveyard Cars. I can't put the top up until you hit subscribe. So I'm begging you, hit subscribe.